in the world we live in today, it is beneficial to be an expert. If you go online and you do a quick job search for jobs in your area, you're going to see that all of these jobs require special skills. So if you're an expert in a certain field and you have some skills, then you're going to have a better job, you're going to make more money, and you're probably going to have a pretty good life. It pays to be an expert. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can become an expert at anything. The most important step is to choose something that you are passionate about. So if you already have a few things that you like, it's only a matter of deciding between those things. Just a few days ago, I received an email from a high school student who couldn't decide between physics, math, or computer science. That's a good problem to have because that person likes all three fields. But maybe you're in a situation where you don't know what you like. You don't know what you want to do. If you're in a situation where you don't know what your passion is, it's simply because you haven't had enough life experiences. If that's your situation, then just go out and explore and take random college classes, watch random YouTube videos, be inspired, and find your inspiration. Choosing something you are passionate about is extremely helpful because we all encounter hurdles in learning. And so when you find something that you really love, something that you might want to do almost every day, most of the time, that's going to be a game changer for you because you can wake up every day, you can do what you do, and you can love your life and you can enjoy it. And that's how you become an expert, by practicing over and over what you love doing. It is so important to find your passion. Becoming an expert takes a lot of time, and I think it's really important to set realistic goals. For example, if you are trying to learn calculus on your own and you don't have anybody, it's going to take some time. It might take a few months to really become a master at calculus, assuming you know you know, very little math and very little algebra. After a few months, you can learn some algebra, you can learn some trig, and you can learn some calculus on your own. It is possible, but you want to set realistic goals. It's not going to happen overnight. Find a mentor or role model in your field. So if you are trying to learn mathematics, try to find someone that you look up to. If you're trying to become a better programmer, try to find some programmers that you look up to. These people give you inspiration. They inspire you and they keep you going. So when you have something that you're passionate about and you have that inspiration from other people who are experts or almost experts, that really helps your learning and it helps you mentally. It keeps you going and it keeps you practicing and it keeps you learning so that you can become an expert. If you have nobody in your life who is in your field, what you can do is just go on YouTube. There's all kinds of YouTube channels devoted to specific topics and devoted to learning. Those can be your role models. For example, if you like computer programming, check out some programming channels. Maybe you can find some interesting people there and you can learn from them and become better at programming. Dedicate time and effort. Both are important. So you have to have the actual time to learn a skill and then you actually have to use that time to learn the skill. So it's two things you need. You need the time and then you need to actually do it. And again, I'm going to fall back on passion because passion is what drives a lot of the innovation and the great things that happen in the world. People who are passionate about things take that extra effort, they push themselves just a little bit more, and they make those big changes in the world. So find your passion and become an expert at it. But remember, it's going to take dedication and time, and it doesn't happen overnight. Never give up. This is probably one of the hardest ones. And by never give up, I mean, when you fail, you need to do something differently so that you can succeed the next time. It's really important to learn from your mistakes. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, it's not going to happen. So if you're just trying to learn a new language and it's just not working, whatever you're doing is not working, change it up. Also, even if what you're doing is working, you're going to encounter hurdles. You're going to encounter difficulties. It's gonna happen. And it's something you need to be willing to accept, even embrace at times. 
If you are passionate about something, you will actually be able to reach a point in your learning where you can actually embrace the challenge. You can look forward to the challenge of solving that difficult math or physics problem. You can look forward to the challenge of learning a new language. Whatever it is you're trying to learn, try to embrace it. Practice regularly. This is super key. It's really important to try to practice whatever it is you're trying to become an expert at on a daily basis. Now, it's important to take breaks and it's okay to take a day off so that you can get that mental reset, but it's really important to try to do it every day, even just a little bit. For example, if you're trying to learn a new language, maybe start by learning 10 new words a day. It's really not that many words, but hey, it's a new language and it's gonna take some effort. Every day, if you learn 10 words in a week, that is 70 words. That is a lot of words. Get feedback from others. This is one that is especially important once you get to the harder material. For example, if you're studying mathematics, it is super useful to have feedback on your proofs. And whenever you do get feedback, it just helps so, so much. Unfortunately, it's very hard to get feedback on your proof writing if you are learning on your own. If you have a classroom setting, then at least you have your professor and they can probably help you a little bit sometimes with reading your proofs. But for most of us, we're on our own and it's very hard to get feedback. Fortunately, we have the internet and we can use that to verify that what we're doing is correct. Reflect on your accomplishments. This is one that a lot of people don't do because it's really hard to look back and think about how far you've come. I, I think that that is one that I personally struggle with is celebrating success. I'm a very forward thinking person, so I have to kind of train my brain to do that reflection process. Some of us are wired differently. Maybe you're wired differently. Maybe you're very good at reflecting. We're all different, and that's why I think these tips can really help you become an expert at anything. You might have some of these already nailed, but some of these might be weak spots for you, and hopefully this video has helped you see how you can become an expert at anything. And remember, find something you are passionate about. A lot of times people try to become experts in something simply because they think it's a beneficial path for their life. That's okay. Obviously, you want to do things that you think will benefit your life, but you don't want to study to become a medical doctor if you hate science, you know, if you can't stand science and you don't like working with people. Uh, you know, if, if you don't want to be a doctor, don't be a doctor. So choose what you want to choose. Choose your own path. It's your life. You get to decide what you want to become an expert at. And I want to tell you now, you can do it. Hopefully after watching this video, you feel like you can get out there and learn and become an expert at anything. Remember, choose something you are passionate about. It is so important to choose something you like because you're going to encounter hurdles. When you want to get to that expert level, you're going to get to some really hard stuff. You're going to have to learn some stuff that most people don't know, stuff that's so exotic that there's not even much of it on the internet sometimes. So when you get to that level, a lot of times it's very, very frustrating. So having that passion to fuel your learning can make a huge difference. Do you have any advice for people? People read the comments. And so if you have anything constructive to say or any comments at all, leave a comment below. By leaving good comments, you help other people. And that's always a good thing. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck. Now go out there and become an expert.